new chuck ballum this is with the m17 a coax um it covers from 160 meters when it did the testing it covers uh, it develops between 3,100, 3,300 ohms from 160 meters down to, I can even go down to 2 meters. You guys can see that it, it works beautiful um, with this particular ferrite and, and coax. Um, I have a Teflon 259 connectors on the box. Uh, this is a marine box waterproof um you guys can see the swr is basically flat throughout the whole hf spectrum even in vhf that's when we start seeing an increase but very very minimum um if you guys want to use it for 100 uh, for two meters uh, you'd be able to use it uh here's uh 80 meters 160 meters uh we're gonna go to uh, 80 meters then we go to uh, 40 meters it's completely flat and you guys can see that um let me continue going to 30 meters we go into 20 meters it's completely flat I'm going to uh, 15 me uh, 17 meters completely flat I'm going to 15 meters flat 12 meters also completely flat I'm going to 10 meters ten meters completely flat um, and then we can go to six meters from here six meters completely flat it responds very very well. I uh, used an oscilloscope. I tested yesterday. It responds very, very good. Uh, the compression of uh, the signal is just fantastic. It does very, very good with this particular ferrite that I, I came across too. So that's very good. Um, thinking to keep this one for myself. And maybe make some. Uh, okay, then we're gonna go to we're in six meters now. We're gonna go down to um, uh, two meters. You guys can see this when the band is starting increasing. We see a 1.1 with a 44 um, ohms resistance, five, five ohms reactance. So it does good. And this is going to be for the hex beam antenna. So it's going to be covering uh, from six meters down to 20 meters, 73.